Now, not all jazz brushes have to be in triplets with a circle motion. Uh, and instead of circling the brushes, this time the brushes go back and forth in a windshield wiper type effect in opposite directions. And what happens here is one brush hits and the other brush is coming down, it hits, then the next brush comes, hits, and hits. So we have dot, 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 dot. We have this eighth note sweeping effect going back and forth. And here's what it sounds like up tempo. Now there's many fine drummers who have many styles of playing brushes. The important thing about brush playing is that you, you find and discover your own style. So what I'm giving you here in example number eight is a basic pattern to follow. And when I teach brushes to my students, what I like them to do is just to have a basic pattern that they can play and rely on and then develop their own style and techniques off of that pattern. So what we have in example number eight is this. We start with the brushes on the outside on one and three and they cross over on two and four. So it's one, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna add the hi-hat and the bass drum and I have kind of a semicircle, kind of an egg shape to my pattern. Not round, but more of an oblong pattern. So, so the left hand is sweeping and the right hand is playing the ride cymbal part. Now if I want to play an accent with the left, for example, I'll play that accent and then the important thing is that I readjust my hands to get back into that pattern again. And at first this is a bit difficult, but with practice it becomes very automatic. You notice when I played the accent, I kept my right hand to the outside of the drum while the left hand played the accent and my right hand took over the sweeping part. And then I readjusted so it was back on the outside on one and three, on the inside on two and four. Some drummers play it just the opposite. This is the way I play it. Now when I'm playing an accent, what I'm trying to do is to get the brush to hit the rim and the head at the same time. So I get a popping sound. Now when you're playing brushes, you can also play on the cymbals just as you would with sticks. You don't always have to be on the snare drum. Also, when playing ballads with brushes, very slow tunes, I tend to like to pick the brushes up off the head once in a while and leave some space and use space as part of my sound. For example, The last thing I'd like to demonstrate with brushes is up-tempo. 
This is another challenging technique that takes perhaps more than a few years to <laughs> develop, but uh, it is possible, and I wanted to show you it's possible. So we're going to play a fast tune, and I'm going to stay on brushes for this. One, two, one, two. <laughs> 